I think it's about time that we end this doxing debate once and for all. It would appear that some people are too afraid to actually define what doxing is. And if you're not aware what doxing is, we're going to go ahead and define it right now. Doxing is the internet-based practice of researching and broadcasting private or identifiable information about an individual or organization. The methods employed to acquire this information include searching publicly available databases and social media websites like Facebook, hacking, and social engineering. It's closely related to internet vigilantism and hacktivism. Doxing may be carried out for various reasons, including to aid law enforcement, business analysis, risk analytics, extortion, coercion, harassment, online shaming, and vigilante justice. Basically, anyone that organizes, collects, and displays someone's personal information, whether it's publicly or privately available, you are doxing them. If you type someone's name into Google and you start collecting their personal information, you are doxing them, and it is a scumbag thing to do. It's especially heinous when you're presenting someone's information with malicious intent. If we look at someone like Destiny, who's just upset about the world and his current situation, and he doxes people all the time, and he does it with malicious intent, and it's because that he is so unintelligent that his only argument is to attack their, their character personally, and he's so powerless and weak that he has to release someone's personal information to his horde of underlings for them to do something about it. That's all he does. It's, it's not an argument. You're not adding to the discussion at all. You're just being a giant pussy about it. And this is what I don't understand about these people who, who like to dox. It, it doesn't make any sense. I don't care who is on the other side of the microphone. I don't care. I don't care what your real life name is or what you do. You know, it, it, what matters is the discussion that we're having and the ideas that you have. However, if someone wants to go by their first name on the internet or their full name or if someone wants to post pictures of themselves or their address for whatever reason online, then that's up to them. But targeting somebody, especially when it comes to politics, which we all know is a dangerous game, targeting someone and posting and co or collecting and posting their private information is disgusting and you should be ashamed of yourself. You really should. So let's let's just talk about the elephant in the room and that's the whole kraut and tea drama with the doxing server so if you're not on the up and up kraut and tea was a youtuber he was part of the skeptic community a while back and i've watched his videos before way back in the past when he wasn't too bad but he specifically started a campaign to debate the alt-right and specifically to debunk their claims of race realism and of course considering that he's wrong he was blown the fuck out so hard that he had to take a mental health break from YouTube. And when he started this campaign, he put together a Discord server with a bunch of academics, people he could invite, in order to collect information on race realism and really get down to the science of it. The only problem was that he essentially created one giant echo chamber, so he still got blown the fuck out by every, essentially everybody who is a race realist. Everybody. And so, once his mental health was destroyed, because he was getting absolutely demolished online, he turned to what I think was his one of his original intentions, is to get back at those evil alt-right Nazis. And he started collecting personal information on them. People, even, I, I believe, even people like Stefan Molyneux, who is, you know, completely harmless, great, great content, great videos, and def certainly not alt-right, but... Jesus, well, why are you collecting personal information on him, of all people? But what Kraut did is he created specific doxing campaigns against people and specifically went out and targeted people for identifying and collecting their private information. This is a big no-no. This is something you don't do. And so there was an insider in on the Discord who started taking pictures and recording audio, and eventually it came out, hey, Kraut and T is doxing people. He's collecting their personal information. He's lost the argument, so he has to go right for the personal attack, which is typical of leftists, but that's essentially what he did. And so there's been a lot of uptick in the discussion of doxing recently because of what he did. But let's talk a little bit about some more specific examples of doxing that people tried to defend. Laura Loomer. Andy was right. She's a stupid cunt. And Laura Loomer was having a discussion with Mike Enoch, and she proceeded to publish a picture of Mike Enoch's mother, and she tried to 
explain it away as, oh, well, I was trying to, you know, do this thing where we were talking about the difference between mother and child as far as political views go. And, you know, I just wanted to picture everyone's like, no, fuck that. You don't publish pictures of people's family on the Internet. It doesn't matter what the discussion is. It doesn't fucking matter. Let that person release the image if they want to. You don't fucking do that. Loomer knew exactly what she was doing. She knew exactly what her intent was to try and scare Mike Enoch away from the conversation, except it doesn't fucking work with people like that. You can't scare them off the internet because they're already, you know, constant targets of harassment and abuse just for their political, political views. So it doesn't work. Her plan didn't work. She got called out on a live stream with Baked Alaska, and she deserves it because she's a cunt. And her defense was that she got that image from a public Facebook account. Well, here's my point. It doesn't matter. You still actively went out, found the picture, collected it, screenshot, download, whatever, and then published it in your own internet sphere for people to look at. Now, you can claim what your intention was all in good faith, but that's bullshit and you know it. We all know exactly what that type of behavior really is. That type of just pure malice against someone's family. You know, there there is a lot of public information out there about people's personal identities, their house uh, address, their phone numbers, their personal emails, even Destiny, his docs is out there. I'm not going to link it or talk about it, but it's out there, and it's public. You can go search for it. It's in a database. Now, does that mean that we can freely publish this information in our internet spheres of influence? No, that's wrong. You don't do that kind of thing. It's unjustifiable, but it's still public out there. So no, publishing so-called public information is still doxing. You're still publishing their personal information that they don't want published, I assume. Otherwise, they would do it themselves. So here's my question for the audience as we wrap things up. What do you think the punishment should be for someone who doxes somebody? And this could include swatting as well. Do you think it should be illegal to release someone's personal information on the internet? Do you think that there should be a public shaming campaign against them, a la Kraut, in order to shame them off the internet? What do you think? Do you think they should be publicly ostracized? Do you think they should have their information released in turn? Leave me a comment down below. Thanks for listening.